Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. Uh, we have some rugby on in a little bit. Australia versus Fiji, I believe. And then we have the Jags game in a couple of hours. We decided we're going to try and make another uh, recipe from one of our books that we got. And we chose Parks and Rec. And since it's breakfast, we're going with the four horse meals of the egg porkalypse. So. So we got the hash brown crust um, being made, put in the oven for 25 minutes. Then once that comes out, the next is the actual casserole itself. So that's going to be your bacon, ham, what have you. What? what are you doing? Take my favorite part. Okay, yeah, Sarah's just eating the crust. Oh, God, hash browns are amazing. It is not even 8.30 in the morning yet. It's almost rugby time. And it's Australia. And I'll wake up anytime to watch Australian rugby. Do you know that time in Florida we stayed up to like 2 in the morning to watch it? Was that Olympics or what? No, it was a random tournament. Not in the world, not in the world. <laughs> they're playing all over Paris. Or oh, that's true. I didn't think about that. How they were like, we saw the Australian fans arrive by train. Me and Byron were both like, trains from where? So I actually ended up finding the time that me and Byron actually watched this in Florida. It was actually September 20th, 2019. And it was the World Cup. And it was Australia versus Fiji. So apparently we really like this match. It's a really good match. I do have one complaint. Australia is a little too orange for me. I get that their colors are gold. Like green and gold. But it's a little too orangey for me. We're only up at 12.45 so I don't know why I thought we stayed up so super late for the game. It's 3-0 right now. Australia. We gotta kick over the goal post. Make rugby popular in America. Trying. We are trying. We, we I mean, one time we actually Seattle. looked up, yes! Oh, that's right, we saw the thing in Seattle. But the hash browns just came out of the oven. The green peppers. We replaced onions with green peppers. Because one, I don't like onions. And two, I was like, how is this like a, a breakfast egg casserole looking thing without green peppers? I already cut, up, cut the bacon. I put it in there ham. Ooh. Uh, we're having our first scrum. Still don't understand what exactly happens in a scrum. Murder. Oh, here you go. This one's actually moving. Yeah, look at it. Oh, I didn't stop zooming in. I wasn't looking at the camera. I was actually looking at Byron Poor the mixture. So sorry that you guys were like on the spoon. For the Olympics next year, let's let's learn some terminology or some plays. Because I thought the penalty was on the DG, but it was actually on us and they got a penalty kick. So now it's 3-3. Three, three. That looks good. Oh, I can't wait. So this guy kicks it away. It went out of bounds. Oh, because they kicked it and it went out of bounds, then it's Australian ball. Oh, the, okay. The GM players got back on defense. Gotcha. That man's like, got it. It does look like it cooked good. Yeah, hash browns kind of cooked in there. You can kind of see a little yeah, bit of hash brown on the bottom. Yeah, hash browns cooked with inside of it. Mm. Yeah. Breakfast is good so far. Australia's actually losing 19 to 8 right now. And they just, I don't know, they just can't get it together, I guess. Too many penalties in that first half. Fiji's never beaten them in a World Cup before. Like, since like the 50s, I think they said. A little disappointed in CBS. So last night they were showing previews for the games. They said, oh, the Jaguars versus the Chiefs are going to be on TV and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, Byron, look, the game's going to be on TV. When I looked up, apparently our local channels are showing the Raiders versus the Bills. Raiders aren't even in the same division as the Seahawks. Yeah, I don't know why you're showing the Raiders. We left rugby. Now we're, oop, my hat's on. Hold on. Yes, pause the game. All right, got the hat on now. We're over the Jags. What's he doing here? I know. Who invited Mahomes to the party? Oh, it's his birthday. Lawrence sadly got sacked to end that run, which they were doing pretty good. 4-0 career versus Jack. Second most wins without loss versus any team. Catch the ball. That's... Like, what, what is this? That is hilarious. So... That is the weirdest thing ever. I know what's going on. So Mahomes got almost <laughs> stuck. And then the lineman just randomly caught the ball. Like, you can't see his face, but I feel like his face was like this. Yeah. Like, what, what's going on right now? Flag on the play, Mahomes. Y'all, they just showed the 
in stadium thermometer, you know, the big ones that they used to have like at schools. And it says it's like 120 degrees in Jacksonville. So Byron just got an update on the rugby game. And apparently Fiji's winning 22 to 15 at the 80 minute mark. Just dropped the punt. Now Jacksonville has it back. Oh, right off the helmet. Like he's looking into the sun too. I'm surprised that you don't have the little frame thing over your eyes. Apparently lost his job in New York because he did something similar. Poor guy. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's weird. You can see the shadow coming across his eyes to where he probably got like blinded for a minute when the sun popped back up. I can't believe we're in the second quarter and it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Retire his number in Falcon Land. <laughs> Good job, little god. Nope, he was not down. That's a bubble. Oh my god! We were talking to my mom for a little bit, so I kind of missed some of the game, but we just got another interception, and now we're trying to score again. It's still 3 0. Yeah. So. Oh, like, they haven't, the Chiefs haven't been playing well, but Jacksonville's also. Yeah, it's like no one wants to win the game right now. Our defense is killing it, though. They've got two interceptions. I had kind of a little bit of a rough week with Smuggers, if you guys follow me on Twitter. I've kind of dropped little hints here and there. Sunday during the vlog, he injured himself, and he had to go to the vets a couple times this week, and he's not eating. They uh, tested him, and he has a viral infection, so we got him on antibiotics yesterday, but we're still waiting for him to eat. That's why we were talking to my mom, because uh, she was calling, because it's... You guys know Muckers is her baby. I was trying to give him some eggs this morning and like he used to run away from food but like now he's starting to like sniff it and kind of like licking my hand but like some of the pieces might have been too small. I don't know but if all stays the same and he doesn't start eating by Tuesday then he is going to have to go to get a scan done, an ultrasound on his stomach just to make sure that he doesn't have some sort of blockage. But the vet is really hopeful that it is just a viral infection and once it starts to clear up, you know, 24 to 48 hours after the medicine, which was yesterday morning, that's kind of where we're at right now. And hopefully, fingers crossed, Smucker starts eating. He's still peeing, still pooping like once a day. Not solid stuff like it normally is, but he's still going. Jacksonville just needs to pick it up. Our offense needs to get with our defense. We need to capitalize on Mahomes not having his best game. Oh, there's a flag? Uh, I think it's pass interference on defense. Oh, okay. Yeah, really just making an amazing catch. Yeah, there's been a couple times where it's like, well, it's not been this fault. It just, it's been off a little bit, the whole team. Kansas City actually just got a touchdown with like, like 25 seconds left in the quarter. So now we're trying to get something on the board with 13 seconds left. I mean, even if we just put up a field goal, yeah. Make that would get us side. only a point behind. Papa, is it us? It's definitely us. Are we bringing the back bad luck to the Aussies? That's exactly what's happening. They lost to Fiji, and like I said, they haven't lost to Fiji in the World Cup in like forever. All right, so I've been gone for quite a while. Well, not really quite a while. We're about to be at the end of the third quarter. I don't think I really talked. It has not been Jacksonville's quarter. They're losing 14 to six, I think, right now. All right, let's get it done, Jacksonville. Oh my God. He bombed that one. Like nobody was near Lawrence. This is one of those plays you didn't see going anywhere. Full up downfield. Let's get something from it. Oh my Come on. One. Ah, just out. You gotta learn to drag that toe. It's one thing I'll always give Julio. I couldn't stand that man, but he knew how to drag that foot. He did very good at dragging that toe. Y'all know I hate the mouthpiece thing. Like, I can't stand when Steph Curry does that. Like, it just bugs me. Uh, Lawrence just took his out of his mouth and put it in his helmet, which I've seen them do before, but it, it just hit me how gross that is, also. I'm not as bad as putting it in the sock, like, what's his name, but in the helmet, that's just as gross. Yep. Ugh, I just shake my head at that. Like, we're even chasing him down and just, like, looking at him. Just tackle him! So we have Smokers' little smorgasbord of food. He's not taking any. Timmy has been very good and has not messed with any of Smuckers' food. He is getting tidbits of bread though. Every time I try to get stuff to Smuckers. I think I didn't update after the game, but Jacksonville lost. It just crumbled in that second half. Like I was like, it was rough to watch. We had to put a pause on the gorillas because they all cost conservation bucks and we didn't have enough. 
So we went ahead and moved on to the crocodiles, which is the last of our Australian animals. Hey guys. I got place trip on the kangaroos. Excuse me. <laughs> come in the room. Me and my identical twin brother. Crocodiles, come in the room. Excuse me, excuse me. Sir. Sir. <laughs> me and my brother. Brother. I lost my brother. <laughs> Oh, yeah, look at him go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that. So we had to get rid of Sydney, which was the baby koala, because they could be one male and like three females, but apparently none of the females could be related to them, like to the male. I don't, and the wild, they're very solo animals anyways. The NBL is doing this Blitz tournament, which apparently like how they kick off their like preseason or whatever. Deli is doing amazing in it. You always think the what ifs, like why did we not take him to FIBA instead of just sitting Dyson on the bench? All of FIBA. It's a little melty. But it's Byron left his ice cream cake out because we are going to have the last little bit of it tonight. And then he forgot about it. Burger, burger, burger. Yes, he's up to three patties. Well, each one he leaves like this much left of, but besides that, he's up to three patties. But that's good. That's a win. Hopefully the vet will say that it is a win. Because mm -hmm. it's a win in our books. Still got a battle to go. Got to get you back to yeah, regular Yeah, we got to get back on regular food. And medicine. Let's see, so Friday, we watched Elemental. Oh my god, it was so good. So good. Good really storyline. Characters were good. No oh my god, I characters. cried. It was so good. I got teary eyed. Yeah, I hate when movies do that. So I was like, Pixar, damn it. Yes, but we. The funniest thing I love about that movie is how much the water people cry. This is the best thing ever. I just love that whole thing. It was just so. Yeah, you know the fire people make the the food with the wood and they just crush it. I'm yeah. like. It was it was so inventive. It really was the the different uh, Christmas trees. Yes. Then we also finished Twisted Metal this weekend. Oh my goodness. Which we randomly watched because I was like, the ad looked really good. Yeah. And Byron's like, uh, oh, Anthony yeah, Mackie, maybe. When I heard it was making a Twisted Metal series with Anthony Mackie, I was like, I remember the video games, but how can you have a show about that? It just seemed weird. I don't know if I really would want to see Anthony Mackie kind of a comedic role. I mean, he's funny. <laughs> he's funny in Marvel, but it's not full comedic role. Right. But he played that part. Oh my good. god, so good. This series was so good. Oh it my was god. It was really good, and they set it up nice for a season two. If Bev Campbell played so even, and they good. also and that little, was a little awesome. gory. It is a little gory, a little weird. A little weird, but if uh, the Twisted Metal game was pretty much like that. But I really hope after the writer's strike, we hear something about season two from that, because I would love to see. They set it up nicely. You got a good plot point for season two. The clown's crazy. Clown is crazy. Kudos to the, the wrestler who played the clown, because yeah. it was voiced by Will Arnett. The wrestler was really good with his body acting. Yeah, like you would never have thought it was two different people doing mm -hmm. it, because it was really nicely done. Really well. But our light got fixed. The beginning of last week, I was editing the vlog during the week, and it was so dark in this room when we were trying to cook. I can now see till October 1st in my recordings, which is crazy. That means we're that close to Halloween. Mucky up! Hey, Muck Muck! What are you doing, Muck Muck? I hope everyone had a great weekend. Everyone have a good and safe week ahead.